Hi, my name is Mark, and I used to work as a financial analyst for a hedge fund. It was a great job, and I was really good at what I did. I've been working there for a little over two years until I got fired and replaced without any warning. Now, this might sound like something pretty common these days, but it's not what you would imagine. I wasn't replaced by someone smarter than me, or more dedicated to the job than me. I was replaced by a robot. Yes, you heard that right. I was laid off because an actual robot automation could do my job way faster and for a lot less money. This might sound a bit crazy, or like something from some kind of futuristic dystopia, but believe me, it's very real. I worked in a great environment and really loved what I did. It's not like they hired a robot to move around boxes or anything. I'm just saying that these AI robots are becoming more advanced by the day. Who knows what sort of jobs they'll be able to take over at a far lower cost. Taking care of the elderly? Operating during surgeries? Teaching our children? Imagine a world where a large majority of employees are being replaced by artificial intelligence. Seriously, it's absolutely not fair! If I take into account all the hard work along with my education and my career leading up to the job I had, and I still have a hefty student loan to settle, and so my chances of being able to secure a new job in my field is growing slimmer by day. So, why pay an above average salary to a competent human being that can work 12 hours a day tops when a robot can be a 24 hour workhorse for a fraction of the cost? For a company, it's a no brainer. They'll go with the more cost-efficient option every single time, even to the loss of the people who used to be their loyal and committed employees. I thought I was doing okay for myself. I had a great apartment, money to spare after I paid all my bills and loans and was on my way. I had big hopes of moving up in that company in a few more years. But now all of those dreams are gone, and they were taken from me virtually overnight. Now, I'm not so sure what the future holds, but... We are so dependent on our laptops, cell phones, and technology. It seems like a blessing at first, doesn't it? We can get a lot done thanks to the advancements of science and technology. Could we really go a full week without using a laptop or a computer? I certainly know that I wouldn't be able to. Let's get into what happened a few days before I got fired. The management team were excited about the new investment they had finally been able to afford. The big wigs called a meeting, and they showed up with the new AI robots that would be assisting our workloads. Mostly, they seemed like bigger computers with a few extra features. But there was one that did have a more human-like ability. Not that it could be confused with a person, and it didn't even speak. But it was able to easily fulfill some basic tasks. Most of my coworkers were amazed by these new arrivals and asked all sorts of questions. Everyone in the company seemed to be happy about the new change. Well, at least almost everyone. A small group of people seemed very anxious, and I was among them. After all, much of what the demonstrator showed that these robots could accomplish was very similar to our own jobs. These robots had been quite an investment for sure, but it was already paid for. So from that point forward, whatever they did was total profit. Besides a little occasional maintenance, they could operate pretty much forever with no real cost except for electricity. Now, I was seriously worried, but never imagined things would go south so fast. I figured that, in a worst case, some of my tasks would be overtaken by one of those robots, and I'd be able to focus on other areas that required more of my attention. Not an ideal situation, but one I could deal with. Other employees weren't as confident this would be solved so easily. And I was hearing rumors that they were planning on firing most of the team by replacing their jobs with one of those robots. Most of us laughed at the thought, but I still wasn't sure if there wasn't even a tiny bit of truth to it. The first person that got fired was the receptionist. Apparently, her job could be entirely replaced by a cool new AI robot. Everything she did was taken over by a cold machine, answering the phones, scheduling meetings, answering inquiries. Then came the director's secretary. She was let go without any warning. It was a really sad scene, and she left the building in tears. We all knew she had a young child to support, being a single mother. But her boss didn't even seem to care. That was when everything became a real concern for me. Sure, those that lost their jobs were not considered as valuable as other roles in the company, but there were robots now that could apparently do my job rather well. 
and for a fraction of the pay. A week later, I was called into the main office. I was worried and certain that I'd received bad news. My boss was there alongside a few other executives. That wasn't a good sign. They all looked so serious. I sat down and they immediately began explaining how I had been such a good employee and team player and that they were sorry to have let me go. Of course, I asked why on earth they'd fire me if I was such a great team member. The answer was very simple. They had invested a lot of money on a robot that would, in the long run, cost far less than they paid me. So they had to consider what was more profitable for the company and that I simply wasn't it. I got so mad and explained that there was no way a simple computer, as complete as it might be, could replace my years of experience in studying. They assured me that having that robot with them was like hiring the expertise of 10 or 15 financial analysts, and they believed the change would greatly benefit the company in the long run. I threatened to sue, but even as I did it, I understood that I had no real case. I was offered my severance and left the place I had enjoyed working at. I've been looking for employment since then, but many companies seem to be more interested in investing in robots than hiring actual human beings. I honestly don't know what I'll do next, and I'm starting to feel a bit demotivated. I've noticed that the majority of the robots replacing human work involve jobs that are mainly blue-collared. But that's just for the time being. I worked a white-collar job, so you can take my case as a cautionary story. Robots are beginning to be used for hundreds and hundreds of jobs. Replacing workers right and left is beginning small, so only those affected notice. Over time, when it reaches large scale, levels across many companies, it'll be too late to do anything about it. Robots and automation are taking our jobs, and unless we do something about it, yours could be next. It's time we do something about it. Human lives are far more valuable than robots and monetary gain.